All right, so the next database type we're going to look at is calendars. Select the others, we'll make it a page for it. So slash calendar, and again, we do inline or full page. And for the sake of this, we're going to do a full page. This gives us a calendar. It looks a lot like a calendar you're used to seeing with empty days in there. Inside every day uh, is a plus to add an item to that day. And actually, before we forget, let's go ahead and do um, calendar, calendar example at the top here. Uh, so we can go in any day, click add an item, and it looks, again, just like other database entries. This one happens to have a title, a date, and tags is what they default you with here. So you could say um, that event, and you can maybe say, you know, is this uh, personal or business? You know, do you want to have them all in one place? So we can maybe do something like that. I'll show you how this can be very helpful later. We'll make this a select box and say we have personal, and we also have business. You can choose what it is there. You can do some different things. If you want to play with tags, you could if you want to have text. And again, like any other database, you could add more stuff in here. Um, you could also add the icons and the covers and that sort of stuff at the top. But there's that event. Uh, similar to some of the others, we can use properties to show how much stuff it will show in there. So we click properties. You see we show the date again, which is kind of redundant. I wouldn't do that. But the personal or business could be useful. You see it's a business event. So we have multiple things across there. Um, and then tags. We don't have any tags. Then you can have that. The other thing you can do inside event you can change the date to have an end date so we'll give it an end date starts on the 6th and ends on the 9th if we do that and go out you see it now stretches across from the 6th to the 9th and you can also drag and drop and put it in different places so we have start the 13th or start on the 4th you can wrap it around have it start on the 16th it'll wrap around to the next week for you automatically so the calendar is pretty useful and again this could just be a visual from a different database you already have and so again we'll get into that in a few more lessons here but this is a quick look at how the calendar works and um, how it could be useful for you